So today we are going to show how Google Meet looks like uh, that you can use for video call, group call, or a seminar, conference, presentation, etc. If you are in academic environment, the chances are that you are going to use Zoom, but for some reason you might prefer to choose a different platform and there are plenty of such reasons. For example, some of the uh, meeting platforms are blocked in a specific country. That can be one, one type of reason. For example, right now at the today's date, uh, Zoom in Iran is blocked. Sometimes they block it and sometimes they unblock it. It's not very clear why they do that. And right now, Google Meet is not blocked in Iran, so people there might prefer to choose this one. But Google Meet might be blocked in China, so it's, uh, it's not clear that when you should use what, you should always keep yourself updated. And there are other platforms as well, but we are not going to talk about all of them. Uh, we are going to talk about only Google Meet right now. And for Google Meet, you don't need uh, anything much. You just need to have a Gmail. When you have a Gmail, you, it means you have a Google account. Here is a Gmail that uh, we made just for this channel. If you want to contact us and say something, the best way is to put a comment below our videos. But if you want to send an email, then okay, you can send gomitv.channel at sitegmail.com. And let's let's see how we can use google meet now so you can access everything every of uh, these google apps when you have an account with google so you just click here for example i'm in the gmail account and then here i can see the meet i can click and i go to this page but i can also go directly so i can go here type meet.google.com and then it takes me to Google Meet. Now, if you are going to join someone else uh, meeting, or conference, seminar, whatever, then there are two ways to do that. Uh, one way is that um, they give you a code. We will see one example. Then you paste it here, and then you join. That's one way with the code. The other way is that they give you a link so you copy paste that link in the browser and then you go there and uh, that's for joining for creating you go to the new meeting and there are three options you can schedule in google calendar and then the invitations will be sent and so on or you can create a link and give the link to the people or you can just start right now and then add people we go with this one because i want to show you some stuff so this is the link, you can copy paste the link and put it in the browser and go there or let's go back here. This thing that you see after meet.google.com is the code that you can uh, copy paste it. Uh, well, let me copy paste it from here. You can yeah, paste it here and you can ignore the dashes it says here and then click on join but we are already there anyway so i'm going to block the use of microphone camera because it's not a real meeting i'm going to do uh, notification i don't want right now so here it will show you like if your camera is on you will see yourself if your microphone is on you can see stuff you can go for visual effect we will show you you can have the visual effect before joining so from the beginning like maybe your background is blurred or you have some animation at the background etc or you can join and then choose a kind of a effect or whatever or you can disable your microphone and camera when you are joining it's a good choice to disable them by default when you are entering because there might be someone already starting the talk and you don't want to disturb people by suddenly your face jumping up on the screen. And then when you are ready, you press join. If you are presenting from beginning, then yeah, click present. But we are not presenting anything right now, so join now. And this is the 
Um, yeah, I know of this thing. So, this is what you see here. If uh, well, your camera is on, then you may see yourself too. If there are other people, you may see them at the right side or in the middle, whatever. Depends on the setting. And what are the options you have? Okay, let's start from here. So here, well, here meeting details. You can see the the meeting link to to give the people. You can invite them in another way. I will show you. Uh, you can here enable the camera and microphone. Here are the participants. So you will see the people are there and their role. So I'm the meeting host. I have a lot of uh, options. I can mute people and unmute them and so on. And if uh, there is someone else here on these three dots, you can do something for them or you can press on their microphone and stuff. You can search people if the list is huge so by default i think right now uh, an unpaid google account a free account can ha um, can have at most 100 people here no more than that and the length of the meeting can be at most one hour so if it is more than that you have to have different links to and give some break between each one hour or whatever if you want more then I will show you, you have to pay and what are the restrictions or limitations for the other um, accounts, I will tell you. But to add other people other than giving them the link or the code, you can press here add people and then start typing something. Let's say I want to invite Hamid, so I will start typing and well, I don't have account of anyone in history of this Gmail that I just created for this channel. So it doesn't show, but if you have someone already that like, you know, communicated with them with this Gmail account, then there will there will be like auto suggestion. So as you are typing, there will be some people suggested here, and you can click on them, or you can manually type the whole email address and then press invite. I'm not going to do that. So that's another way of inviting people. And then what will happen is that they will receive an email with the link there to click uh, on it and join. Okay, that's the people and then here there is a chat uh, you should give people permission to send chat uh, otherwise it's you who is sending things and it's it warns you that the uh, chat history will be deleted when the call is finished and you can have whiteboard or other things this recording is important if you are using zoom or other things you know that you can record the a meeting sometimes it's important for example there is someone giving a lecture and you want to record that lecture and share it with people who couldn't participate with some uh, good reasons not uh, just because being lazy and yep in that case you need the recording but in google meet unfortunately the recording is not available for free account if you want uh, you have to have more than uh, free account so here are type of accounts and it is for everything in google account so i'm using free right now but if you want you can pay this amount monthly to have this or this amount for this this i will put this link the prices might change later and to have the recording you need to have business standard business starter doesn't have that so it says like uh, 100 participants video meeting which is the same as the free one but what's the difference and here you can see the more detail so business starter will have 24 hours length as length of one meeting so you don't you are not restricted to only one hour and uh, if you want to have more participants then you need to go to a standard and more so 150 500 and so on and for recording is um, Mm, meeting record here so you need to pay at least right now 9.2 pound per month well i'm in uk so it's in pound if you're in somewhere else then it will be in another currency yes so that's one thing one bad thing that free account you cannot record um let's look at the whiteboard can i start a whiteboard and uh, 
here it is and you can share it with the participants well, I don't have anyone here so I forget it and you can do stuff you can type thing this is test and you can do this kinds of graphical thing and uh, you can just draw something let's say have a diagram normal distribution something it's not a good looking one but anyway and uh, you can start presenting so here it is you can present and there are different things entire screen a specific window or a tab um, say a window going to use this and then see that people are seeing this uh, see this at their screen and they can see my mouth moving pay attention to this part for example yeah, yeah. anyway and uh, there should be a button for stop sharing here but okay here yeah. stop sharing and um, I can read it I don't want to keep it so yeah it is the presenting thing you can choose what to present and uh, you can have reactions let's say the speaker finishes speaking and then you want to clap so you just press on this and then your name or whatever it shows you to me because it's myself but if it's a participant it may show like for example i don't know Ahmed is clapping and they will come up you can raise your hand let me put this down and here we show that someone raised his hand and his name you can go to participant you can well unmute them to talk whatever and when it's finished you can lower their hand so you don't see it here anymore and another thing is that you can have caption and someone is speaking they should show caption I guess it is not uh, the computer is not recording or the microphone oh, yeah I, I disabled my microphone Let, let's try um, DJ Mit requires access to your microphone um, black icon on browser address okay here allow to use microphone yes done okay now I mute myself Oh, okay. So let's this message disappear. Okay. Now you should be able to see what I am saying. Uh, it puts some dots somewhere. It's fine. So that's how the caption works. And that's nice. So it might help to people who are not good in recognizing your dialect or your pronunciation then they see the text and that helps them I'm disabling it now. Uh, here the whiteboard some change you can make full screen and picture in picture I told you you can have visual effect even afterwards and let me uh, let me mute myself again and you can choose to blur your background or put some uh, backgrounds that are available publicly or you can choose background from um, your own computer I think that's everything I wanted to say